Over the years living in my van, I've had the chance to travel all the way through Canada and meet some pretty amazing people. Everybody from $200,000 Sprinter conversions down to basic vans like this $600 van in front of us right here. The guy bought the van, threw some repairs on it, took everything he owned from his apartment, threw it inside, and just started living the van life. Doing it nice, simple, and cheap. If you've been around my channel for a while, then you might know this guy's name. He's been in my live streams a lot. This is our dear friend Mike Brown and his grumpy old van. I'm not sure. Where do you want to start? I don't know. Where do you want to start? <laughs> I don't know, but you got like van city van life represented everywhere. Yeah, look cool. The Weirdos nice. Unite towel. Well, and of hey, course. Hey, hey, you're my inspiration, man. And of course, our beloved Disco Bear on the shirt. Rest yes, in peace, yes, though, bro. yes. All right, so Mike. Look at, look at, welcome to my, my kitchen slash living room slash bedroom. All in one. Just after you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have actually gotten this. All right, let's back this up. Let's put you right there. Right here. Right. It's all you from now on. Oh, really? Yeah, it's okay. Great. Okay. Let's yeah. start off with who you are. Hi, your name Hi, is? Ms. Mike Brown. I've been Chrome Surprise supporter for at least three years since he started. I finally got into my van after, actually, it's been almost a pleasant year. Last February, I got into this in the middle of winter. And now it's time to play graduate to actually, I actually got walls in this thing now. And a bed. And great. And kitchen and everything. And I love it. All right, and sure. then go back to the apartment again. <laughs> COVID high five to that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Forget the freaking living in an apartment. And with COVID shooting and stuff going on, it's safer living in a van right now. You got You're it. You're all, all alone. Here, away from everybody. You can go in the back country, whatever, and stay there for a while. All right, Mike, show us around. Let's start with uh, the outside, like solar and. Well, solar, I got 300 watts of solar. Since I sort of 100, then I graduate another 200 on top of that. Because I need to run a fridge and heater. And I also got a small vent back here in the very top. I'm not like some of the people who want to get max band, air vents, whatever. But it's a cheap friggin' little vent. Just to get airflow going. And then the back end here is with my garage. In my uh, closet on top. And the best thing is... Oh, my full-size mattress. Same one out of your apartment? Same one. Why, why get rid of it while I can use it? Right? It fits too. Love it. A twin size mattress. And it's beautiful in the, at night. In the winter. Nice and warm. Never freeze. And if I this is my closet right now. The temporary one. Cheap. No works. And I got some basic underneath there. Just my garage. And my heater over here. And that's my gas tank on diesel. Which will work. Sweet. And basically, here's my fridge. Finally. It freaking works, man. It's got an internal battery. It's just the temperature, stays cold. And over here, if you want to see, that's my little junk shelf. It's a cheap to bring and build. And my jacket on top, which is nice. But over there on the far side, that's my pop out window. Water ventilation. So, which I can cook and all that. All the exhaust to go out. You want to get in there and show us around? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Now I get my 
utilize my slide outs for any extra room. A water storage. What you got? Which all works. This thing is actually solid in. This thing is bolted in. It's not going to move it down. From your apartment too? Yep. <laughs> nice. See, I love, I love that. When you can just take pieces from your home, the sticks and bricks one, and just throw it in your van and get started. And over there, beside there, that's all my electrical. Underneath that box, that's my bedside table. <laughs> from your apartment? Yeah. <laughs> nice. And I got 200 uh, amp hours batteries in that. Sweet, and you removed your front seat. Yeah. Extra storage, that's yeah. a good idea. And I got extra storage in the front of that too. It's a little junk area. Yeah. But I just recently did this. All this, this insulated inside. And there's my lights. Let that fly. Is that party mode? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> But I just ended up putting all these lights in. 60 bucks for all these lights. And I got two lights in front with an extra switch there. That's my extra switch for my lights in front. But everything's done on the cheap. I think, I think I've invested maybe a thousand bucks into all this. What'd you pay for the van? 650 bucks. <laughs> nice. But I spent like 3,000 getting it going. Yeah. But 600 for a 22 year van. And I and it works works for me so you started last year just before winter this year is it february. this year february. february february i had nothing in there all i had was the bed and the dresser that's it and i sat there in the, the dead of winter sleeping in this van for the first last week of february sometimes it's the only way to start is yeah. just to jump in it right in the right in the cold yeah. just do it we moved at the end of february and I had a buddy heater. That's what we, and this thing. It kept me warm. Yeah, because I started in September, mm -hmm. pre -win just before winter. And yeah. it was great because if you're going to find out what van life is like, you mm -hmm. might as well start out in the cold and get, but get the cold season out of the way. That last, that last week of February when he started the van, because after we moved the van of bed in, it's actually snowed every day. And I, it was cold in here. It was, but I stayed warm in the in the van. With this, uh, I got like I got about three blankets in here, three four blankets. Plus, I got a steam bag. But I stayed nice and toasty warm. So, because you've used the Mister Buddy heater, and now you've got a nice dry air heater, what's the difference between the Buddy heater heat feeling and the dry air feeling? The dry air. The best best thing for the dry air is. I don't get condensation like I did with the buddy here. Yeah. I had water dropping down from the actually bare metal yeah. of the roof I had. Yeah. And to start off with the buddy here, if that's all you can afford, go for it. But yeah. don't expect to last. Especially in the cold climate out in Ontario. It's too friggin' snowy and cold. But even so, the, the, the Chinese heater I like. Yeah. If you want to spend for the extra shit, the drone bed, fine. But the Chinese here, I bought it for 200 bucks. And, and you can actually, I've run this off the Jackery. The how, Chinese heater. How long does the Chinese heater run off the Jackery? If, it, uh, to keep it maintained about 20 degrees, it'll last you about six hours. Yeah. Of the 240. Yeah. But that, that's the only downside, though, when you're running an appliance like that off of, like, the Jackery battery, mm -hmm. is after mm -hmm. six hours, you're out. <laughs> Yeah. And then you got that long awaited charge to charge the Jackery back up before you can have the heater fan yeah. again. Yeah. But but the Jackery is a good backup though for you. Anything else you want to add? I don't think so, but support Chrome. <laughs> is there anything you want to tell people who are just starting van life that are in the kind of same situation that you're in right now? Just do it. Try it out. It doesn't matter. Well, it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. At least you say you can try it. You got that right. And just do it cheap. Don't freaking go worry about spending extra money. Just do it cheap. Yeah, take your home furnishings from home, huck yes. them in the van, get somewhere to keep your beer cold, and it's all oh, you no, need. Oh, no, no, that, that's the beer. Okay, that's the beer fridge. You have a dedicated beer one? Yes, that's my dedicated beer fridge. Attaboy, Mike. Because <laughs> you gotta need two things. Beer 
and food. If you don't have that, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. And uh, so also keep the two. All uh, right, fire extinguishers is a good idea. Yeah, and then need that too. The carbon monoxide. Yeah. But just make sure you got a nice place to hang your head. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's all we got. We're done. We're Peace done. out. We're done. <laughs> all right, Mike. Thanks for showing us your house. No problem. <laughs> hey, so it's good to finally get to see my house. Yeah, I know. Last time I was here, you had the little minivan that you didn't quite live in yet. No. Look at this guy representing. <laughs> these are from my... Were these from Teespring or the old merch Teespring. store? Was it from Teespring? Teespring. <laughs> Those are pretty sick, man. Oh, man, that's wild. See, I'm... Yeah, see, you're here by Pout Porch right now. <laughs> All right, Mike. See you later. See you, man. <laughs> I hope little stories like this inspire you guys. You see, Mike has been around my channel since Van City Van Life was, what, maybe a couple hundred subscribers. He watched my journey go from my basic van I used to live in when I was broken in debt all the way to the van you see on my channel every day. It took Mike about a year and some to buy this van, and when he did, it had some mechanical repairs, but he faced those problems when they arose, and he got them all fixed. And now he's living full-time in his van, and he looks happy. You don't need no professional build, no brand new van, no van of your dreams to live this life. You just need a van. Alright you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on another video.